Welcome to another chalkboard session by www.electricalpereview.com. In our previous video, we derived our addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division formulas for complex numbers and vectors. In this video, we're going to do a couple of examples for some practice. Okay, let's do an example. Let's say we've got two vectors, x and y. x equals 10 plus j30, y equals 20 minus j5. I'm throwing in a negative imaginary component just to make sure we really understand how the positives and negatives carry through our math. So first example, if I have these two vectors here, and I'm asked to find x plus y, we're going to add their components. So we're going to have 10 plus 20 plus j, 30 minus 5. Since again, y, the imaginary component, is negative. We carry out our math, and we end up with 30 for our real component plus j, an imaginary component of 25. Easy enough. Now what if we're asked for x minus y? All right, same thing as above, except now we're going to subtract our components. So we're going to have a real, uh, real component of 10 minus 20 plus j 30 minus negative 5. We carry out our math, we end up with a real component of negative 10, plus, since these two negatives cancel out, an imaginary component of 35. And one more example, we're going to say y minus x is going to give us a real component of 20 minus 10, plus an imaginary component of minus 5, minus 30. We carry it out and we end up with an imaginary, sorry, we carry that out we end up with a real component of 10 minus an imaginary component of 35. Alright, let's try some multiplication and division. Give me x times y and we're only so far given our rectangular form. It looks something like this. 10 plus j30 times 20 minus j5. We know we can't really carry this out in rectangular, so the first thing's first. We need to convert each of these two vectors from rectangular to polar. So we carry that out using the methods we just demonstrated in the last video. And we've got x is going to equal 31.62 magnitude at an angle of 71.57 degrees. y is going to equal a magnitude of 20.62 at an angle of negative 14.04 degrees. So we continue, x times y. x is really 31.62 at an angle of 71.57. y is really 20.62 at an angle of minus 14.04. We multiply our two magnitudes first, and then we add our phase angles, and we get x times y is the same thing as 652 with an angle of 57.53. Now how about let's do x divided by y. We're going to use our polar form since we already have them, and we're going to do x is 31.62 at an angle of 71.57 degrees divided by y, which is 20.62 at an angle of negative 14.04 degrees. We're going to divide these magnitudes up here, and then we're going to be subtracting our phase angles since we're doing division. So we carry that out and we come up with 1.53 for our magnitude at a phase angle of 
85.61 degrees. And how we came up with this is really theta equals 71.57 degrees minus a negative 14.04 degrees. So since these two negatives cancel out into a positive, we're actually adding our two angles here. Okay, let's do one more example. We're going to find y divided by x. And again, I'm throwing in that negative theta to make sure we really understand how the positives and negatives are propagated. y divided by x, we've got 20.62 at an angle of negative 14.04 divided by x, which is 31.62 magnitude at an angle of 71.57 degrees. Just like before, we're going to divide these two values and then subtract the angles. y divided by x gives us, plug it in, a magnitude of 0 0.65 at an angle of negative 85.61 degrees. And again, that comes from here. Theta equals negative 14.04 degrees minus 71.57 degrees. Theta equals negative 85.61. Those are examples for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We hope you enjoyed this. For more sample problems and our premium review course, please visit us at www.electricalpereview.com.